What's up YouTube? Hope you are doing fine. Today we are going to create that cinematic dark blue look which you saw in my cinematic music video cycle and if you haven't watched that cinematic music video I really recommend you to go and watch it and then in this video we are going to create that look it's a little bit complicated not so much because we are using the 8-bit footage and we have some challenges because we are using the layer mixer technique and we have some challenges but it's not really hard and uh, let's uh, go to the DaVinci Resolve and start a tutorial and I really hope you learn something new out of it. Let's go. So here I have the footage imported into the DaVinci Resolve and I have set up the node. I have the noise reduction, the HDR, the conversion lot for the color space transform. I have the lift and gamma and gain. Then I have saturation. Then we have the layer mixer where we create our moody cinematic look uh, with the skin and the look node. And then we have the vignette and the outside note. Then we have Luma versus Sat. Then Sharpen and then Grain. So let's uh, start with the conversion lot. And I will uh, drop the color space transform here. And after that, I'm going to convert. This was shot in HLG3. So we are going to uh, change the color space and gamma from HLG3 direct 2020 to Rec 709. If you want to know more about this, please check my past videos. I have uh, gone uh, through this and did a uh, complete explanations about it. And for the output color space, as I said, I'm going to select the Rec 709. And for the output gamma, I'm going to use the Cineon film block as I have recently used this because it gives a really flat look to your image and uh, you can easily play while, while color grading. And for gamut mapping method, I'm using the uh, saturation compression to compress the highly saturated colors. And then we are going to uh, start with the lift and gamma and gain to uh, start our color grading. So let me select these wheels. And uh, the first thing I want to do, let me bring the waveform. And as you see, the waveform is really high and we want to achieve a cinematic look. So the first thing I'm going to do is to d decrease the offset to bring down the brightness. So let's bring down the offset. I will go and I will park it somewhere around 18. And then uh, I want to add some uh, lift, uh, decrease the lift. I want to decrease the lift to add some uh, contrast to my blacks, which we lost with the film lot. So I'm adding lift. And then I want to bring down my also my gamma to make it darker. So I bring my gamma as you see here. And for the gain again, I'm going to decrease this to make it even darker as, I, as we are going for a cinematic look. And for the temperature, this is a, I feel it's a little bit warm, so I want to make it more neutral. So I'm adding some blues to the temperature to make it, uh, to make it more neutral and more towards the blue side. And then I'm going to the log wheels to add some con contrast to the darker parts of the waveform to the lowest part, blacks, and I'm going to add some contra contrast to it. As you see, I added a minus five, and if we check, you see that it really affects the contrast of the black areas. And here it's enough for the lift and gamma and gain. Now let's go to the HDR node. And one thing I want to do here is that I want to bring down the level of the higher highlights. So I'm going to increase the range here. As you see, I'm selecting the higher ranges from uh, 700. And then I, as you see, when I decrease the highlights, it compresses the highlights here, which, do, which does a great job because we do not have that beautiful highlight roll off with the HLG3. So we need to do this in order to fake that cinematic look and moody look uh, with this technique and we create a beautiful highlight roll up and as you see it just compresses the background and it does, it's not affecting the subject because i have selected the higher ranges of the waveform from 70 700 and it's from up here so it doesn't as you see it doesn't affect so much in the midtones which is really nice after that i'm going to my saturation note and I want to decrease the saturation because in my opinion, this is really saturated and I, in the cinematic looks, we mostly play with the tones and we do not add so much saturation. So 
I'm going to decrease this this and I will do this and I think around here it must it feels good for me and I will select 38 and after that in the layer mixer node we are going to create that cinematic blue look which uh, we are going to do in this video so for the layer mixer i will start with the skin node i need to do a qualify on the skin to select the skin this means that whatever look we create in the look node will not uh, affect the skin and the skin will be excluded but again we will um, uh, make the difference uh, lower so uh, we have also some cool uh, uh, tones in the skin and i will show you uh, but let me first uh, do a qualify on the skin I will do a qualify on the skin and right now let's play with this to more precisely select the skin it's not important at first because I will just select it and go create my look and then I will fine tune it later so just right now I will just uh, do this really fast and select the skin and I will remove some of the dark parts it's okay for now I will clean the black clean the white and I will add some blur do add so much blur it's good and uh, let me go back to the look and create my look node I will uh, use the primary bars here as you see most of my footage rests inside the mid tones so I will uh, start with the gamma let's uh, create our uh, cyan and teal look so what we need to do is to remove the reds from the mid tones I will uh, start to remove the reds I will do this and we are going to for a heavy and intense look I will remove the reds and then uh, we see some greens and I need to remove the greens as you see here I will start decreasing the greens and now uh, I will also remove some of the blues because I want more cy cyan look rather than blue so I will remove blues and as you see it's now much more cyan and after that we go to the lift now let's uh, also remove some of the reds from the shadows and after that let's remove some greens from the shadows as you see here just one is enough minus one and also I just let's add a little bit of blue to the shadows and we are done for the lift and right now it's not really dark the scene is not really dark what we need to do is to just bring down the gain for the look note I am going to start bringing down the gain and as you see just add so much mood and dark mood uh, to the background but right now uh, we have problem in the skin so what is the problem the saturation of the skin and the brightness of the skin so we go to the skin node what I want to do here is to decrease the saturation of the skin and as you see when I decrease it now it is much more balanced and after that I want to play with the contrast in order to make the skin also darker so it matches the background I will start decreasing the lift and as you see I make the skin much more darker and after that I also decrease the gamma a little bit now I think it matches the background much better let me bring this forward to see if you have any problem on the walls here uh, let me check the selection and the mask and it's a little bit on the wall but let's see we can fix this it's okay it's because it's 8 bit footage we have to accept it <coughs> sorry and I think it's okay here and now let's uh, as I said the the difference is really so much between the skin and the background it's so much blue but the skin is not blue so we need to decrease this difference we go to the key and as you see when I start to decrease the gain it becomes much more believable now we have much more blue also in the skin I think uh, 0 0.5 is good and now it uh, looks more uh, believable this look it makes the look more believable just one thing uh, which I forgot to say uh, is that we need to also match the contrast in the dark areas uh, in the skin node I want to select the dark areas because here in the look node I did not select the dark areas in the skin node if I go to the log wheels and start decreasing the shadows you will see that it would add much more darkness to the mustache and it uh, looks more, uh, more, more realistic in this way as you see not so much just a little bit is enough in my opinion 
to add that contrast to the dark areas in the skin node. And here is, I think, is enough for the look node. And after that, we need to go to the vignette. The vignette also makes so much difference in the mood. Let's create a power window here. Let's invert this and add so much softness. Let's check it. And we go to the <coughs> curves. Let me decrease this and you see I add so much darkness to the around which makes a huge difference and now if I add the uh, add so much uh, some brightness to the subject again it pops the subject which makes a huge difference if I enable and disable this it's a mix it makes a huge difference and it's really much uh, nicer in this way Again, you can play with the contrasts here. Let me go to the look node. You can play with the contrast if you like. You can decrease the brightness to make it more darker and moodier. And it's now much more moody. And now let's go to the Lumans versus Sat. I will select the Luma versus Sat here. What I want to do here is to remove some of the uh, color tones from the black areas, the uh, true blacks. I want the true blacks to be black. So I will remove some of the tones from the blacks, as you see. If I bring this closer, and I enable and disable this, it removes some of the blue tones from the black areas. I, I'm not sure if you can see this on YouTube, but if I bring this more, you can see much more difference. It cleans your blacks and it has a really nice effect on the uh, black areas and it gives you a clean black. And I, uh, I also see some blue here in the skin here. Uh, I, one thing you can do about this is that you go to the uh, your qualifier and play with the in and out ratio. As you see, when I increase it, uh, we fix the problem here. Let me zoom on it and show you. If I increase it, it selects more of the skin now. We have a better selection here. And also uh, by adding more blur, you can uh, do, uh, fix this and uh, you do not see that problem anymore. And right now I think it uh, looks uh, good. You can also again remove some of the saturation of the face if you think it looks better. I think 35 is better. It matches with the environment much better. And again, you can also play with the gain to give some of the blue look to the skin more. I will uh, decrease the gain as you see here. It looks more realistic, I think. Right now, we are done for the look. And after that, let's uh, check the before after. And uh, right now, let's see. It's a day and night difference here. We went from a, a really... Uh, a bright day to a really moody and really sad day and it just makes so much difference I really recommend you to watch the this uh, cinematic music music video it's really one of my best works uh, I really recommend you to watch it and now let's go to the sharpen and add some sharpness I will add some sharpness again this makes a huge difference gives uh, so much uh, uh, more attention to the subject I will not do this so much because it looks fake just uh, uh, 47 is good I mostly do the 47 and now for the grain I am going to add the film grain to the grain node and I will add the 60 uh, 35 millimeter 400 T and as you see this just gives so much character to the shot and after that you can go to the noise reduction and add the noise reduction to give it a, a cleaner look. You can do this in the first step, but uh, be sure to disable this while you are doing the color grading so your system doesn't uh, slow down. I will uh, uh, remove the link between the Luma and Chroma for the spatial threshold, and I will link this for the temporal, and here we get a clean look. I think it looks really clean. For 8-bit footage, it is just really awesome. And let's check the before after once again. You see so much difference, makes a lot of difference. And let's watch the 
be full before after once again in full screen to see what we created in this uh, cinematic color grading. Guys, I really hope you liked this tutorial. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comment sections. I would be really glad to help you and I will be seeing you in my future videos. Goodbye.